Hello. Uh, so, it's safe to say that these days, you know the reason why I uh, will film and post one of these. But you know what? I'll just I'll just say it anyways for anyone who's new. I guess, whatever. <laughs> I I've been going on a long journey dealing with lust and um, yeah whenever there's temptation I'll film one of these and post them onto YouTube in order to you know help win the battle and also you know helps clear the mind helps me to digest some some thoughts and whatever might be happening in my internal world because I sure as heck don't know what's happening if I don't verbalize them <laughs> yeah I think that the way that I process things is just through talking it out and I don't even know what's going on until until I talk it out or write it out or something along those lines like I'll be thinking something but it won't necessarily mean much at all Anyways, um, where was I? I think that the direction that these videos is, are going to take is going to be very different from how it used to be. Rather than necessarily just talking about what happened, or talking about the problems in my life. Maybe rather than focusing on those sorts of things and just talking about that, no matter how, you know, nice it might be to just get stuff off the chest that you don't feel like you can talk about very often, I feel like probably a better use of this time and a better way to just, you know, solve some problems is maybe taking the, the Romans 8 approach, which is by focusing on the things of the spirit rather than the things of the flesh. Because when you do that, then that's life and peace. Whereas when you look at the problems of the flesh, then that's death, generates death. It's as <laughs> simple as that. So, This is Jonathan's soul <laughs> speaking right now, and I'm just going to be taking a back step as I allow my spirit to come forward and say a bunch of stuff, alright? <laughs> if you'd like that. Alright, Jonathan's spirit, I invite you to the surface. For a while now, when my body's come back to this basement suite that I live in, there's been a few temptations that have come to the surface, and it's not been easy to, to deal with them when uh, we've been in the unaware, uh, when we've been, we haven't even been trying to fight it. And, you know, we, we've gotten out of practice in doing these vlog things. And so I think that the enemy has just been waiting to seize their chance in order to try to take us down. Well, the thing about the Christian life and living with Jesus as our Lord and Savior is that we get more chances than we deserve. 
way more chances that than we should ever hope to deserve. And so we've done things that we're not proud of. But it's okay. Because all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Our cup overflows, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And so, now, things are going to get a little bit more interesting as I invite. <laughs> my good friends, Jesus, to be present here alongside me. This is so weird. This is so out of the, the wheelhouse of something that would be posted onto a YouTube video. This is soul talking, by the way. Back to spirit now. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus, for sticking by us sticking by our side for being patient and for being good his patience is never ending his promises are good his love endures forever his kindness never fails You know, when you're under attack, rather than trying to defend yourself or, you know, focusing on the enemy, what's more infuriating for them? Having you actually treat them as an enemy or having you treat them as, like, a threat and, you know, trying to take you on. Or... Is it more infuriating to the enemy to not even look at them? <laughs> to just look at our Lord, to call upon his help, to thank him for <laughs> the victory that's already ensured. Because, wow, our God is so much greater. He is so much stronger and greater than anything that any type of enemy or anything else in all of creation would be able to throw against us. Our God is greater and stronger and better than anything that we could possibly imagine. And so when you put your focus in the right place, Focusing now on you, Lord. When you seek first the kingdom, all of your necessities will be taken care of. All of these things shall be added unto you, clothing and food and anything that you could possibly need, want, or imagine. Now it actually works to your benefit. And the benefit of everyone around you. Those are added unto you. Just by seeking him first. What a wonderful God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. As you delve into his mysteries, his perfect will is unveiled. And you see that his promises are sure. That 
They aren't just empty. But they have meaning. When Jesus says, ask and you will receive, it really means that Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. Seek me first. And everything else will fall into place. When you love me and I call you according to my purpose, everything will work together for your benefit. Not only mine. You don't have to look at your problems. You don't have to even think about them, really. Fo put your focus on where it's due. And then you will receive more than you are due. Blessings.